Hey everybody, in this video we're going to export our SharePoint list data to Excel, uh, which might be useful for those of you who want to analyze that data separately without affecting other people's SharePoint list experience or by making different versions. Um, or maybe you just need to export it for another system or to send to somebody as an attachment. Now when you export, it's important to uh, think about which data you want to export. For example, uh, I may not want someone who I'm going to send this to to have all of this information. So what I might do is actually create a new view where I specifically choose the data I want to export. So I'm going to call this uh, view export, of course. <laughs> I'll make it public just meaning that I'm not the only one on my team uh, who can use this view. So if anybody else has access to the list, they can use this view as well. And I'll choose create. So now we can see that I'm on the export view and I'm going to start hiding columns that I don't want to export. So I'm not going to export email. I'll hide that one. I don't want to export phone number. There we go. So we'll hide that one. Um, I'm okay leaving city and country in this case. Uh, let's get rid of the last donation. We'll leave lifetime donation to give overall impact stats. And let's go ahead and filter to only active people. So I'm going to drop down status, choose filter by, choose active and apply. And then whenever you do a filter activity like that on a view, you do have to resave the view or it won't stick for the export. So I'm going to drop down my modified view. We can see that little asterisk is reminding me that I haven't saved the change. And then save view as, and then save when it pops up with the exact same name. All right, that asterisk is gone, which means now I can export just this data, only my active users without that uh, phone number and email information or the last donation amount. So now I go up to the top of my list and I'm going to choose export and choose export to Excel. It immediately opens up this query.iqy uh, download file. So I'll open that up. Let's enable this since it is required to have a data connection to SharePoint to be able to use the Excel method. There we go. So it went out to SharePoint and brought all of this information in and it even added two additional columns that are just letting us know that everything in here was an item and it gave us the path to the specific list that it came from. Now the nice thing about this when you use the Excel method is that uh, we can get a one-way data sync. So for example, let's look at customer one here, Jamie Williams. If Jamie's name changes, let's go ahead and open up Jamie and we'll change it to a different spelling perhaps. Jamie, there we go, and in an EY, and we come back here, there we are, we'll see if this changes when I click refresh up here under table design. Okay, there we go, and it updated. So if you do prefer to work in Excel for some operations, you can see how uh, coming here and just refreshing your data once in a while and maintaining that live connection to SharePoint may be beneficial for you. And then all of your sorting, your filtering, uh, even your manipulations here won't write back to SharePoint. Now uh, I do want to just uh, emphasize that if I do something similar here and I say instead of Morgan, maybe it's Megan, and I make the change here and I hit refresh, it doesn't write back uh, to SharePoint. Let's go check. There we are, so it still says Morgan here. I'll just do a refresh to be sure. Yep, still Morgan. So we can see that it, it did not update there uh, and stay as Megan. In fact, we'll change one more time. Change to Megan, it changes back to Morgan. So you can see that it does overwrite your changes, unfortunately. Um, the other thing uh, that you might want to consider here is that you can unlink from SharePoint. So if you do want to change these to whatever values you would like to and not worry about your next refresh or activity in SharePoint uh, overriding your work, you can just choose to unlink. And that way, uh, you'll never connect to SharePoint again, basically. You have a completely isolated workbook where you can make all of the changes you want. You can delete columns, you can reorder them, change all the data. Uh, to your liking without worrying about affecting anybody else or having their work affect you. So that's how we export data from a SharePoint list to Excel to work. And then uh, also just really quickly, if you don't want to have that live data connection to begin with, a much simpler method is to export to CSV. And that still will allow you to work in Excel with your data, just doesn't maintain that live connection. I'll just show you very quickly what that looks like. Here we are, so this is the CSV. It's definitely not connected to anything. I can use this however I want uh, without affecting anybody else as well. And there was no data connection that had to validate uh, my identity. It's just a file that I can now share freely um, as I wish.